turnout to get high in the Mile High City. Tens of thousands of people gathered in Civic Center Park to celebrate the marijuana quasi holiday. Yeah, this is the first 420 that you can buy marijuana legally in Denver and the first year the event has an official city permit, but that doesn't mean that smokers are off the hook with police. If you can weed your way through the crowds, you'll find music and dancing and people lighting up. It's a place for the pot community to actually get together, you know, share their stories. We're all green friendly, so we're all pretty calm and I think that's most part of it too. We're all friendly and happy people. Steps away from the Colorado Capitol, an estimated 100,000 people shuffled through security lines for this exact moment. 4:20 p.m. on April 20th. Legalize, let people smoke and enjoy themselves, and, and bring down the tension so we can stop all this murder, murder, kill, kill out here in these streets. But it's not all fun and games. While it may be legal to take a hit at home, it's not legal to smoke in the park. Denver police cited 63 people, mostly for public consumption. Because someone smokes weed does not make them a bad person. Even though there was more security, people we spoke to were glad. The security guards don't don't care what you do as long as you don't have weapons or alcohol. Because the event was more organized than previous years, there are more vendors. Help support the rally, $20 t-shirt. From tie-dye to custom skis and glass pipes, marijuana activists said they want to spread the message of peace in the hopes that the world takes notice. There's no, there's no violence, there's no yelling, there's no shoving, there's a lot of crowd and everyone is very calm. Right? Oh, it's my friend. Sorry. Like that? Yeah, like that. Denver police issued a total of 130 citations total for the weekend. 20 of those people are from out of state. Denver is.